Hey guys, Dynasty Warrior 6 here again with another Game Finds video. I know I had that one probably, oh gosh, like a day or two ago. And now I'm doing another one. Now this one is kind of more like showing you guys what I got recently. And not only that one big bundle, like that big bundle as well. But also kind of what I kept from the bundle. Um, I traded in some of the games. I traded, I got it like... Jeez, I got like 46 games in that big bundle in that last Game Finds video. So now I'll kind of go through and show you guys what I kept from it and everything like that. Plus another little bundle I got from a Facebook group as well. So I got like kind of two bundles to show you guys. So we'll start off with the uh, one little bundle I got. I found, uh, on, I'm a part of a Facebook group and this guy was selling three video games lo kind of local to my area and I picked them up. This bundle cost $45 for everything. It was three Super Nintendo games. Uh, first one was Final Fight. Really good, like, I, like a little ding on that, but like the Lee's labels are in like pristine condition. Super Mario World. I mean like, look, that is a clean label. And Super Mario All-Stars. Now that, that, was, that was it. It was just the three games. It was $45 for three. And then um, this was something I found at uh, Goodwill. And this was $5, and this game, it, it's not a bad game, and I'm kind of glad I got it on this console. I picked up Marvel vs. Capcom 3 all at Goodwill for 5 bucks, So, not too bad. You know, it's a little high, but, you know, this game relatively sells, I think, at, like, even GameStop still for, like, 20 bucks. So, not bad to pick that up for 5 bucks. So, alright, on to the deal. Um, I'll kind of show you guys the lesser of the stuff, and then work towards the good. Uh, this whole whole thing cost me forty dollars for these games. Now I did trade in a good chunk of them too, so we had you know I'll show you what I got. I'll show you what I got with the trade in credit as well after I show you the big bundle for forty. Um, so now we'll go through some of the crap first, of course, because that's how we do it, guys. We always go through crap first. Uh, picked up Madden 03. Madden, oh crap, Madden 06. Yeah, these are all complete too, guys. These are all complete. Uh, Madden 07. Suzuki TT Superbikes. Uh, oh, uh, NCAA 2K3 College Football. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, Knockout Kings 2002. NBA Ballers, and a factory sealed um, game on PS2. Uh, let me give me a series of unfortunate events. This is factory sealed though, which is kind of cool. So th those are kind of the, the lesser games. Oh, and then let's see. Th these are all, and there's still all part of the the forty dollar deal. I got the plan. Devil May Cry 2, Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Contra Shattered Soldier, and this is complete too, and funny enough, this game's, I've always seen this game, and always missing the manual, so this is actually kind of funny that I, I always found that game missing the manual. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Gungrave Overdose. Uh, let's see. Dragon Ball Z Bodokai. Dragon Ball Z Bodokai Tenkaichi. And this was definitely like what made the deal kind of kick ass. Dragon Ball Z Bodokai Tenkaichi 2. Complete. Now, so all those games were $40. I got others, but I traded them in because they were games I didn't want. They were greatest hits. I only collect black label. You know, the sports titles, they wouldn't take in trade, so I had to hang on to them. 
So sadly, that's what happened with the sports title. I would have got rid of the sports titles too, but I had to hang on to them. So it was 46 PS2 games in that last video. I got it for $40. So I traded in about half of it. I traded in about 26 games, and they gave me about $60 in store trading credit, and I bought three games for the $60 I was given. I picked up Dino Crisis on PS1. Bushido Blade 2. Great game, guys. One of my favorite on PS1. And this one was actually surprising. I thought this would be more expensive, but nope. Valkyrie Profile 2 for 20 as well. So I picked up all that for with with my, you know, the pickup and everything like that and the trade-in and everything like that. So this week has been a really good haul, guys. I mean, like, legitly, like, amazing. Amazing luck. Uh, you know, it just... I found the guy on Craigslist, and I was surprised that, like, really nobody else had messaged this guy. But this guy was extremely difficult to contact. I mean, like, like I messaged this guy probably six times. I was like, okay, let's meet up. And he was like, I don't have a cell phone. I don't have a way of calling you. Like, it was always excuse after excuse after excuse. We would set a tentative time, and, I, and then he would, like, like, not respond at all. And then he'd be like, oh, sorry, dude, I was MIA, I had other stuff come up. It was always other stuff. So for like a day, I thought maybe this deal wasn't going to happen, and I was really disappointed because it was a really kick-ass deal. But then finally, he kind of like, oh, yeah, okay, we'll meet up tomorrow at 5. And I go, okay, cool. So we met up in front of, like, in front of an old grocery store parking lot that's been you know empty for now because the store is out of business. And I was sitting there, and he's like, we'll meet at 5. I go, okay, so I'm sitting there in my car. In an empty parking lot, basically. There's people around, mind you, there is. But it's not like, you know, a lot. And 509 rolls around, and I go, fudge, man, I hope. Oh, crap. All right, if he doesn't show at 520, I'm out of here. I'm not sitting here for another, you know, 10 minutes. So 512 rolls around, and he rolls in. And I go, oh, thank God he showed up. So I gave him, he gave me the games. I checked them before I bought them, and I go all right. And I he, he I gave him the forty dollars. He drove away, and I was like, thank God that's over with. I was so sick and tired of that crap. So got him, traded him in a good chunk, and I got more games. That's how you do it. You buy the bundles to keep what you want, trade in the rest, and get what you need, get what you want as well. So that was it, guys. That was all my game finds currently. Uh, it was a solid haul. Um, I'm looking forward to, you know, I'm trying to get a couple more deals going. I, I, you know, I'm hitting up the Craigslist and, you know, a lot of other stuff. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. We'll see. But thanks, guys, for tuning in, and I'll see you guys later in the week.